Many of the latest viral videos are being made purely with AI, and very few people know exactly how easy it is to do. Let's say I wanted to become Tom Cruise in that iconic risky business scene. It wouldn't take more than 60 seconds to pull off. I'd grab an image of myself and remove the background, sorry babe, open Viggle, not a sponsor, and input the image, motion prompt, and background, and then just hit enter. Don't worry, you do it once, you'll have it down. Head to link one in the description and it'll take you right here. What you're looking at is the home page for Viggle. Now right here in the center, you'll see join the beta. Go ahead and click on that. It will automatically open up the Discord window. Go ahead and go up to the top right and click on prompt. We're going to need this window as well. Once we're inside of the Viggle server, the only thing that matters to us right now are these animate channels. Let's go ahead and choose one. Let's say animate 13. They all do the same thing. There's just going to be a different queue time or a busier population depending. Here, the queue only is two, which is actually really, really good. We're going to go down into the bar and type in animate and hit enter. It's going to pop up these different things. It's going to ask us for an image in an attached file, a motion prompt, a background, and a fine tune. Let's go ahead and just click on the fine tune box. We are always going to turn this on. So that's just kind of a default to go by. In the image, we're going to go ahead and attach the image that I used, which was going to be this guy right here. And for the motion prompt, we can go back to the Viggle.ai website. Here we are in the prompt section, and you can see there is a ton of different pages down here. What you're going to do is you're going to find a movement that you like. So let's go ahead and say we want this bad pose walk. All right, let's go ahead and just say we want that. We will click on this little icon right here, which will copy the prompt. And then we can go right back to the Viggle Discord. Once back, we can go into the motion prompt and just simply paste that in here. And then under background, we can choose from template, which the template is the motion prompt, which would just be the gray background. We can choose to have it in a green background for chroma key or green screen use, or we can just have a pure white background. Let's go ahead and put it as green as I'm sure I can use it for something. Once we're done, we just hit enter and we will wait for it to queue. Just like that, Viggle will pump out our new oof, abomination. That is scary, but it did do what it was intended to do. Now, there are a ton of different prompts and options you can play around with on Viggle, and if you guys want a super deep dive into all the tiny little tips and tricks that you can do inside of Viggle, let me know in the comments down below, and I would be happy to deep dive into it. But we're going to be talking about next the new stability graphic designer so make sure you subscribe and stick around for that as we're going to be making some crazy insane videos and animations using ai i kind of feel bad this is really hammering that industry right now but it's something that's available to us so we should know how to utilize it so make sure to subscribe, and if you want to see some really crazy stuff, like taking flat 2D images and turning them into 3D landscapes and worlds, check out the video on your screen now. You are going to be shocked. Remember, when you're using Viggle, it really matters to get the full body photo in there for the reference.